Hi, preschool families. It's G. Sal from Butterfly Garden. Today, we are going to celebrate Earth Day. Uh, does anyone know why we have Earth Day every year in April? That's right. We want to protect our Earth so that we are safe and our animals and our plants are safe while we're living here. So we want to make sure that our water stays clean, that our air stays clean. And did you know one good thing about um, staying home because of this COVID virus is that the air pollution is down, which means the air is much healthier for us to breathe right now because we're not using, we're not burning the gas in our cars because we're staying home and we're not driving as much. So although there are a lot of things that are tough about being home, that is one thing that is a positive from all of this is that our air quality is actually um, really, our air quality is, our air is clean now. So, I'm gonna read you a story uh, called The 10 Things I Can Do to Help My World by Melanie Walsh. And then we're gonna discuss uh, maybe some things that you, you can do. I wanna hear back from you. And also I have some projects that you can do using recycled materials. So I'll show you a couple of those that my daughter's made. I remember to turn off the light when I leave the room. Turning off lights and using more efficient light bulbs saves valuable energy. So this is something that I actually am really good at. There are some areas that I still need to work on, but one thing that I do do is I shut off the lights. After I leave one room and go into another room, I'll shut off the lights in those rooms. And that's something my mommy and daddy taught, taught me when I was little, when I was your age. So you can remind your mommies and daddies if they forget to turn off the lights. I try, what do you think this is going to be? I see a sink with water. I try to turn off the tap when I brush my teeth. Every time you do this, you save 18 glasses of water. So after you uh, wet your toothbrush and add a little bit of toothpaste, you should shut off the water and brush your teeth. And then when you need, you can spit. And then when you need to rinse your mouth, you can turn the water back on to swish the water in, around in your mouth and then turn it back off when you're done. And that's gonna save a lot. I mean, that saves 18 glasses of water. Think about that. If you saved 18 glasses and your mommy and your daddy and maybe your sister or brother or grandma and grandpa, that's a lot of water at the end of the day, isn't it? And how many times do you brush your teeth? two or three times a day. So add all those water cups up. That's a lot of water that you save. I always, oh, I see a, a juice, a juice box here. I always, and I see a trash bin, throw away my trash. Putting garbage away keeps the world safe and clean. Right? We don't want to see a bunch of dirty garbage all over the floor in our neighborhoods. So always remember, even if it's teeny tiny wrapper, to throw it away. I will, what do you think this is going to be? I see some little birdies. Feed the birds in the winter. Feeding the birds helps them get ready for nesting in the spring. And we want the birds to be nesting so that they have baby birds and then those birds have babies and so we keep having birds in our habitats, right? And in the winter time it's hard for those birds to, to find food so that's a good thing to do in the winter for the birds. I use both sides of the paper. If everybody did this, it would greatly reduce the number of trees we use to make paper. And we do this at Butterfly Garden Preschool, right friends? We use recycled paper. Um, so on the back of your, 
on the back of your drawings, usually you'll see that there's other things that have been printed on that paper. Or sometimes, if it's a clean sheet of paper on both sides, we ask you to flip it around and draw on the back before you get a new piece of paper. I remind my parents to unplug the TV when we are not watching it. Many electrical appliances use energy even when they are turned off. So this is an area that I'm working on because I don't, I, I'm, I forget to unplug things. I turn them off, but I forget to unplug things. So this is something that I'm working on is unplugging things because even if they're plugged in, they could still be using energy. I enjoy, what do you think this is gonna be? Making toys from things around the house. So I'm gonna pause from the book for just a minute. Um, as you can see, somebody made a cardboard uh, robot here. Um, my daughter made a robot out of a can that she painted and then out of a mint box. These are, these are little mints that you can get at um, Trader Joe's. Miss Marcel eats a lot of them and then gives me these. So she used one of those. She used a little, um, a little plastic tubing with a button for the back and then another little plastic doodad up here um, and a pipe cleaner, a little fuzzy. So um, you can make something like this at home out of recycled. It could even be as simple as just using cardboard if your parents are um, getting things delivered from like Amazon or, or other stores. You can take the cardboard and you can design a sculpture. All you need are markers or crayons and some cardboard. So it could be very easy. So see if you can find things around the house that you can make. And don't forget to always have your mommies and daddies send me a picture because um, I love seeing your creations. I like to walk to school. Now, Los Angeles is very spread out. So some of you do walk to school, but sometimes our school is too far away for you to walk. So even if you can't walk to school, maybe walking to a local grocery store or the library or the park instead of taking your car. So as much as you can, walking instead of taking your car. Avoiding car trips saves gas and cuts down on air pollution. And walking is also a good exercise. I can, what's happening in this picture? Plant seeds and help them grow. grow. Plants that help keep plants help keep the air clean and healthy. So you can, especially now that we're at home, if you've got some seeds, you can plant them inside and then you can put them in pots outside or into the ground outside because plants help us get our oxygen and keep our air clean. I help. Now I know most of you guys do this, and we do this at school as well. Sort the recycling. And we have a game at school that I know many of you like where you sort the cans from the glass, from the comp composting materials, to the paper, and then the plastic. And remember at school, we have a little blue recycling bin in my classroom, in the bathroom, where we put all our paper scraps so they can be recycled. And Hopefully you all have a blue bin at home where you can put your recyclables in there so that the city can recycle them. And recycling means to use the materials to make something new so it doesn't get wasted. I can't wait for you to comment below and tell me two things that you are already doing to help the planet and then two things that you're gonna try to do that maybe you haven't ever done or maybe you're not as good as, like, like me for unplugging the um, appliances. So 
comment below. Let me know two things that you're doing re that's really great for the environment and two more things that you're gonna try to do to help the environment. Um, and then also, don't forget, I'd love a picture of your sculpture or art that you make out of recycled materials. Thanks again for joining us. Remember to like subscri and subscribe to our channel so that you can see more lessons that Ms. Marcel and I do. Um,